Hello Scorpios, this is your reading for June for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see what's going on with you guys for the month of June. Scorpio. <clears throat> what does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? Scorpio need to know. We have King of Pentacles here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. That could definitely be your energy. Um, feeling quite stable, working really, really hard, um, feeling responsible for different people even here. Or this could be somebody that is significant to you. Again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. <clears throat> What is challenging or crossing Scorpios? Nine of Cups. I feel like that's your energy. So what's challenging you is what are you doing that makes you happy? To find out what that is and go for it. Because I feel like you're giving to different situations and different people without any regard for yourself and your well-being and what actually makes you happy. That Piscean energy there. What is the underlying issue here for Scorpios? Eight of Pentacles. Again, I feel like you guys are working really, really, really hard for other people. And you're not allowing any time for yourself. You're not doing things for yourself. And um, and there's a need to do that. Sometimes you can get burnt out when you are putting everybody else before yourself. I feel like you're everybody's person, their confidant, their uh, person they can lean on in times of need, but who are you leaning on? <clears throat> we have Virgo energy here. What was going on in the recent past? You know, I'm, I'm getting a different story here for somebody that um, this is your person this king of pentacles this virgo energy uh some people here are being kind of selfish and doing things strictly for themselves and not taking the other person into account there is a need for um you to work there is a need for you to be a little more selfless that's just for some of you there's different stories here Okay, what's going on in the recent past for Scorpios? Then we have the Four of Cups here. Not really paying attention to what's right in front of you. Being a little too comfortable. Hmm. So some of you, there are signs that are being presented to you that you need to do something different. So if you're the one that's not really taking care of yourself or putting everybody before you, then it's time for you to take some time for yourself. If you're the person who is hogging all of the time and it's me, 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 it's time for you to work a little harder and put somebody else up front too, okay? So, two different sides of the coin here for you guys. This Four of Cups is Capricorn, not Capricorn, but Cancer energy. Um, to give of yourself if you need to. And to take something for yourself if you need to. Okay? Crowning thoughts for Scorpio. We have an Ace of Wands. Hmm. Now, I see that you definitely want to do something different. You definitely want to work on your relationship. 
you want to work on your relationships not even just your intimate relationship but any relationship that matters to you where people are important to you I see you wanting to um, be more active in those relationships what's coming in for Scorpio hmm my seven of swords Aquarius energy um, seven of swords is definitely a selfish card especially in this uh, reading today because there is definitely a selfish energy that I'm feeling where um, where you need to some of you need to uh, actually put somebody else at the forefront um, and find a, a good balance, an equal balance. This says that you're going to do what you want to do regardless of the other person. Or somebody's doing what they want to do regardless of the other person or persons. Is what this says. I'm going to do what's best for me. I don't give a damn what they say. But again, this is also for that person that puts everybody else first. Do what's best for you. And especially if you're the one that's like, oh my God, exhausting yourself in a relationship and, and people are taking you for granted. Regardless, you need to do something different. You need to do something for yourself. So both sides of the coin needs to find a balance in doing for yourself and others. There's a balance that needs to be had here for either side of the coin, whether you've been very selfish or you've been too selfless. Okay. How is Scorpio viewing the situation? The King of Swords here. I feel like you've been looking for a job. For those of you who don't have a job, um, you've been looking for a job. I feel like um, you guys are also trying to figure out how to work this relationship out. How to show up in the best way that you can. I feel like you guys um, are doing your best, you feel. You feel like you're doing your best, and you got this. <clears throat> what is the influence here for Scorpio? Seven of Cups. Mm. Seven of Cups is having your head in the clouds. And there's so many things in front of you till you don't know which one to choose for real. So many things to do. Um, just kind of being all over the place. Some of you are spreading yourselves too thin again. Some of you feel like you have options too in love. Like if somebody's not appreciating you or if somebody don't like what you're doing, then you feel like I can get somebody else. Hopes or fears for Scorpio is temperance. You really want to work things out. You're hoping that you can work things out, that that things can be peaceful, that, you know, nobody's tempers will flare or you'll stop getting into it with somebody because I feel like you guys are getting into it with somebody. And you really just want peace. All of you guys just want to be happy, to, to you know, just not be in conflict with someone. Sagittarius energy. What is the overall outcome here for Scorpio? Overall outcome for Scorpio. And the Six of Cups. Peace. Unity. Getting along. Family. 
that is your card as is the seven of cups the seven of cups is all about oneself but sixes are um, balance and unity and um, a, a coming together of minds and hearts so I feel like you guys will be able to work things out because um, I do see you feeling like you know you're doing the best that you can um, some of your egos are, are are kind of flared I feel but for the most part I feel like you guys will work this out now these two seven side by side this is somebody that's thinking about their own feelings and not really taking the other person's feelings into consideration when they make certain movements so it may get a little bit tougher before it gets better um, until you know you guys can really get on the same page okay so that is what I have for you guys and I'll be speaking with you soon. I know there's a glare right there for some reason. I don't know why. But anyway, talk with you soon.